everyone and welcome back to Calabunga Corner. In this episode, I'm going to talk about an event that happened back in 2002 for me. See, throughout my life, there's a few things I don't like the idea of and pain is the number one thing there. I can't stand the idea of doing something to your body that uh, it would be painful to have done. Like, it's not natural. I... I'm all for other people doing it, but I never went out and got myself pierced or anything like that. I, I was not into it. It just wasn't my thing. And uh, I had one friend in the area who kept saying, you should get a tattoo. And I'm like, no, no, no. And then I found out that Mark Bodie was a tattoo artist. So I started saying to her, well, if I ever get a tattoo done, it would have to be by Mark Bodie. That's the only way I'd do it. But I was never going to bring it up to him. Never. Not in a million years. The idea of getting a tattoo was not something I personally wanted to experience. At least that's what I thought. And uh, one time I got to meet up with Mark. I was in Northampton. This was in November of uh, 2002. And uh, I was buying some original artwork off of him from the Archie comics and even a cover pencil work from one of the Mirage comics. And as I'm doing this, he brings up that what I need is a Ninja Turtle tattoo from a Ninja Turtle artist. No, no. I don't need that. I went that day saying no. Even though I knew that he had a tattoo parlor he was working at, uh, Lunar Tattoo, which is right in Hadley, Massachusetts, just down the road from where we were, I was not really thinking that I would go ahead and get a tattoo. And uh, he brought it up several times <laughs> when we were doing that little meetup. So that night, I went back to our hotel room. And I thought about it and thought about it. I love Mark's work. I don't think I'll ever regret doing anything that would include Ninja Turtles since turtles have become such a huge part of my life already that when I look back at it it's all the great memories of doing the birthday parties, of meeting all these great people, of hanging out with some of the best fans. I mean when I look at the fandom, I see friends. And so when I see turtles, it makes me remember all these great things. And I don't have anything bad on my mind about turtles. So the more I thought about it, the more I thought and thought, this could be my only opportunity. And he is a Ninja Turtle artist. So the next morning... We're supposed to be leaving Northampton. We're going to drive down into New York State as my mom has a good friend from the internet that she wanted to meet up with. So we're at the Kathy's Diner, which is where I have my breakfast whenever I'm in Northampton. I'm sitting there at Kathy's and uh, I look at my mom and said, Mom, I've been thinking about it and uh, I'm thinking about doing a Ninja Turtle tattoo. And my mom agreed. Took me by surprise. <laughs> I'm like, really? And my friend sitting next to me agreed. So I called one more person to confirm, should I do this? I called Mickey. She was not with us on the, the trip. And uh, Mickey said, yeah, go for it. So with my mom, Shadow Wolf, and Mickey, the decision was anonymous. I'm going to get the tattoo. So we went over to Lunar, and they don't open till noon. It is 11 a.m., we can kill some time. We drove down, went to a store, went did some shopping over at Walmart. Came back. They're open. Mark's not there yet. <laughs> so they call Mark and let Mark know that I'm there. And my mom's a full time is going, we need to be going at some point. So we, uh, we joked about it. We waited and Mark finally showed up. And when Mark showed up, he looks at me and says, uh, well, draw a turtle and I'll put it on you. <laughs> and I laughed. I said, no, 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 no. If I'm getting a Ninja Turtle tattoo from a Ninja Turtle artist, I'm having that artist draw the turtle. 
<laughs> so he's what which turtle so he did three little drawings of Michelangelo because I told him I want it small and I'm gonna get it on my arm so he did these three drawings of Mikey and I got to pick one and I picked my favorite one and then I looked at him and said okay I know it's Michelangelo but my favorite color is blue so the only request I have is there any way to get the color blue into this tattoo? He drew a line over the top of Mikey and put a blue sky. I'm like, perfect! So we sat down and I got my tattoo done. As he's sitting down working on it, I'm looking around at his workstation. And it's full of his father's artwork. Such an inspirational area to be. As I was admiring his and his dad's work all around me. It was fascinating and did I feel the tattoo being done no <laughs> I was so absorbed in the environment that he had for us to be able to sit down and get the tattoos done that this just seemed to be done with as soon as we started I love my tattoo uh, it, it's small it's perfect it's totally Mikey and it just really shines out to me and I, I like what he did I am sure I'm not going to go out to another tattoo parlor and say, here, get me a tat. Uh, it, that's not what I wanted. I wanted something small that could be there to say, hey, the turtles are a powerful impact on my life. And the person who did this is just as powerful as an impact because his work is very inspirational. His friendship has been meaningful to me all these years. I've known him and his wife since 1996, and I don't regret at all being friends with them. They are amazing people, and the talent from their family is just outstanding. So, yeah, I got my Mikey tattoo. Um, the funniest part was when I went to tell some of my local friends in the Northampton area, they already knew I was getting the tattoo. Um, but I uh, came home, and my dad was shocked, and my grandma was shocked, but no one was upset because it was a uh, it really was me so I have seen Mark quite a few times since the tattoo was done but it's also on the arm that got electrocuted at my job so I'm not having any touch-ups done to it it's faded a little bit over the years but I'm sure I'll post a better picture over this but here's where my tattoo is and I'm very proud of this I, I love love my tattoo if you are in the market to get a ninja turtle tattoo mark bodie still does tattooing you can go to markbody.com and check up his work and see how to set up to try and get a ninja turtle tattoo i recently saw pictures of somebody who got their full leg done and they had krang on the knee and when he bent the knee krang moved it was a very very cool tattoo so mark still does this stuff i was his first ninja turtle tattoo according to him but i know he's done other since i do recommend completely recommend going out there and seeing what he does and if you guys can get near him or find out when he's going to be in your area try to arrange something he is worth it and he is a brilliant, brilliant artist. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't think I can say anything uh, <laughs> to say no, because there is nothing. He's that good. Now, I got this done in 2002. It's now 2013. So it's been 11 years since I got my tattoo. And in these 11 years, not once have I regretted it. Never has it embarrassed me. I, I wear it happily, um, and I show it often, because Mark's really, really good at what he does. Do you have a Ninja Turtle tattoo? Do you have um, one that you are really proud of uh, and you'd like to share with us? Tell us about it in the comment section below. It's something that uh, I know a lot of Turtle fans do. I've seen them up and down arms before. I've seen them on back murals. I've seen knee I've seen so many different tats. It's always good to see what somebody else is doing. And was if you do have a tattoo, was it done by an artist that you really appreciate and means more to you than just somebody you met because they do tattoos? 
tell us your story in our comment section. It's awesome to hear, awesome to share. And you know, if you got one, you want to share about it because these things are fun. And uh, I've learned that since I went ahead and did this. <laughs> Next time here on Cowabunga Corner, I get to interview Ernie Reyes Jr., also known as Donatelle's Stunt Double in Turtles 1 and Kino in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze. We'll catch you next week. Cowabunga! What's up? I'm Kino, and you're watching Cowabunga Corner. Stay tuned. I'll be on next week's episode. Ayah!